Hey. Hi. Plugged on, Tyler Keith. We're here to talk about the 18th album from the band Overkill, titled The Grinding Wheel. Is it symbolic of Overkill? Because they're just grinding along. Fucking why not? Why? <laughs> um, this is the follow-up to 2014's White Devil Armory, um, which, you know, I thought it was a little bit more of a miss than uh, than a hit, to be honest with you. Yeah, it was cool when it came out, but it wasn't a uh, didn't stick. Mm-hmm. Didn't stick to the wall when you threw it yeah. at it. So yeah, so we reviewed the first single that came out for this um, uh, our finest hour, and we weren't too hot on it. Um, so I was a little down on this going into it, to be honest with you. Um, so what did you think of it? Um, I I think it's I think it's it was again with my uh, perception of this album going in being like all right this album will it'll probably be another White Devil Armory was what I was honestly thinking going into this but coming out of it it's it's definitely better than White Devil Armory I don't know if I'd consider it you know as good as other Overkill albums but it's definitely a cool and fun album to listen to especially after a couple of listens to because it gets weird in spots on this album like in quite a few spots. But, like, right off the bat, the opening track, Mean Green Killing Machine, is, like, the best song on the whole album. And it's just that classic overkill song. It just punches you in the face with, like, the riffs. And it's just everything from the vocal patterns to just how everything kind of comes together sounds great. And there's, like, a lot uh, other times on the album where there's, like, oh, yeah, this song is really good. And it's, like, well, like I, my other favorite song is probably The Wheel. I like The Wheel, like, the main riff and the chorus is what comes to mind with that song, and for the most part, with like the rest of the album, and maybe again, this will kind of uh, be a little bit more of a grower. But I, I, I have grown to like this album. Initially, I, I didn't have the highest opinion on this album. I was like, okay, this album's whatever. But after listening to it three, four, five times, um, I'm starting to appreciate a lot of the songs a little bit more. Um, the Long Road is a cool. Song. A lot of the songs are cool. They're also really fucking corny a lot of the times, too. Like, that that, that happens a lot on here, too. Like, Long Road, uh, Red, White, and Blue, Come Heavy. Like, corny fucking songs. But it works. Um, again, I, I like the chorus to uh, The Long Road and fucking the, the riff to Red, White, and Blue's fun, fun to listen to. It's one of those riffs you get a smile on your face. Um... And like I said, this album gets weird. Shine On's a weird song. Not, actually, not my favorite song in the album by any margin. Uh, the title track, The Grinding Wheel, gets weird at the end when it gets kind of almost uh, very melodic and like dark at times. And then the, uh, the bonus track on here, Emerald, is also another weirder song. But, like, everything I think works well. Like, there's, you know, the riffs are tight in a lot of spots. About the only thing that I, I could say that would be any way construed as a negative riff-wise would be like sometimes I feel like a riff's going one way and then it doesn't just because you know I've been you know normally how Overkill does riffs and it's just kind of like oh you didn't put that kind of beat behind it or you're not getting that kind of feeling that happened a couple of times um, again in the song Red White and Blue like uh, is, is an example of that with like one of the opening riffs it's like oh you could have done like a more of like a groovy overkill riff and instead you just kind of went with like a fast beat and it's like oh it works but i maybe not my first you know perception of where i thought that would go um mix wise i think this album's mixed really well i mean it doesn't i have no complaints you know you, uh, it has typical things of overkill you know mixed you know uh you, you know, the guitars are crunchy you can hear the bass and the bass is like that clicky bass that sounds really good where it kind of pops through the mix which is really cool bobby blitz Mix wise sounds good. There's a couple times on the album where I'm like, "That's a little oof. like." Um, let's let's all go to Hades. The vocals, especially to the verse, I'm like, "It's like I don't know about all that." And then there's there's a couple parts where it's like a little bit more singy. I think Shine On, yeah, Shine On, and like the middle, I'm just kind of like, "All right, that's." weird whereas like other times like on the wheel during the chorus i think that works very well when it's a little bit more singing in a way um when i listen to our finest hour i really want to listen to electric rattlesnake especially during the verse that's not that's not necessarily a complaint it's just 
stating that. And all in all, this album's fun. It's kind of there's a couple of grains of salt. I feel like, at least personally, I have to take with it. But again, like uh, I I can see myself coming back and continuing to listen to this album because there are like four or five songs in this album that I do like a good bit. So um, yeah, good album. Uh, yeah. Upon first listen, I was like, I don't know how I like this album, really, to be honest with you. But, you know, sticking with it uh, to where we are now, I don't think it's a bad album. And, in fact, I think there are some really good songs on here. It just feels like, they'll, with most of the songs on here, they fucking put it together. But then there's one thing that just feels odd. Whether it's the beat... The riff, Bobby Blitz's vocals. There's always just one thing that kind of just sucks me out of it a little bit. And, like, for example, I think Shine On is a fantastic song. I love the riffs of that song. I love the verses. I love Bobby Blitz's vocals all the way up to the chorus. I just, like, I just cannot stand his vocals during the chorus. And then the way they transition out of the chorus, you know, when he's just saying Shine On Down, I'm like, ah, I just, I, I don't know. I, I'm just not feeling that type of, type of shit. Or, you know, but, you know, let's go to, I'll go to Hades is another one, where I'm like, like Keith, I was like, <laughs> I don't know about the vocals here, to be honest with you. It, it just doesn't, I just feel there would, there's a much better way to do all of that. But, but, for the most part, you know, this album has that overkill feeling to it, and that overkill just, fuck you type of attitude. Overkill sets themselves apart with their their vibe and their attitude that they always have on all of their songs. I mean, they're just, like, fucking relentless, shoving their dick down your throat with riffs all over the place. And Mean Green Killing Machine, I feel, is the one that just kind of sums up Overkill in the the best way. I love that song. That When, when that main riff starts, it hits like a fucking truck, man. Jump in the damn circle pit when that riff starts. It's phenomenal. Uh, I personally feel, and I'm very serious when I say that, that is one of the best songs that Overkill has ever written, to be honest with you. I love, love, love that song. And, you know, starting off the album, it's like, all right, let's do this. And, I, I, you know, Goddamn Troubles, fine. Our Finest Hour is better on the album than as a single. But, you know, I listen to Our Finest Hour, and I'm like, this is fine. You know, it just doesn't it just doesn't quite get to where I want it to go and you know I, I, I look at that song and then I look at Mean Green Killing Machine and I'm like why was Our Finest Hour your first single I don't get it people would have went fucking nuts if you would have put out Mean Green Killing Machine I know they put that out as their second single but like dude that should have been the first song they put out man that, that song is by far the best song in the album maybe balance expectations again that's maybe. the best song on the album it's like in some ways you go into that then you can only go down from there maybe I mean not to say yeah. that like maybe the, the, they're thinking this but it's like right you know what I mean yeah um it, it's it's a fun album to listen to there, there's some really just like he said just corny moments just big dumb moments on here like red white and blue is is one I love the song come heavy those verses are so dumb. I, you know, Bobby Blitz does a little bit more singing there than than uh, his normal type of vocals. Um, and I think it works. And I listen to it and I go, this is dumb, but this is awesome. Like, listen to that and try to not have a smile on your face. It's, like, impossible to do. Um, that, you know, that, that song has a lot of really cool riffs in it. Um, you know, one, one thing that also is just great about Overkill is the solos um, from Dave are just always fantastic. They're so on point. They're so well written. They're so just, you know, they're kind of technical. I, 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 it's just something about his solos always just kind of make me go, yeah. And, 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 you know, I listen to some of the solos on this album, and then I, you know, you, you can just kind of picture him playing it live, which is cool. Um, and then the bass, Overkill always has fantastic bass from Dee Dee. Um, mean Green Killing Machine is probably the one that just 
stands out the most to me because when that riff starts, that, that bass just adds a whole nother fucking element to it. Um, I think it's good, but like I said, I just feel with almost every single song, there's just one thing that just kind of takes me out of it, just a little bit. Um, but then there's a couple songs that I just outright don't don't really enjoy. Like, let's all go to Hades. And I personally, I don't give a shit about everyone either. I know it's a bonus track, but still. But The Wheel and The Grinding Wheel, two pretty cool songs. It, it, it feels weird listening to Overkill and they're doing, like, fucking gigantic symphonic shit. It's like, towards the end, it's like, whoa. Like, what if they did that more and more? Like, I mean, could be interesting. It, it, I mean, it's good that that, that kind of, like... Uh, Easing it in and yeah. not just being like their next album. It's like yeah. boom, here's all this stuff. It's like yeah. In uh, getting back to Bobby Blitz's vocals, he sounds fantastic. And to be 18 albums in and to be doing this since fucking the early 80s, it's like damn. Like this guy still just sounds fantastic. It's just his vocal patterns or the lyrics or something. When I say that takes me out of it. That's what I'm talking about. Not really his performance, for the most part. Um, but there's some like really cool like Iron Maiden like vocal parts. I was and thinking, I'm like, that. yeah, I was thinking this that. Is I'm cool. like, I was like, when he sings, I'm like, that's fucking like Bruce Dickinson. Like yeah. that's what it sounds like a lot of times. It's like, it's cool. I like this album. I, I I do like it more than. White Devil Army. I listened to that album again this week, and the same exact shit happened to me. I listened to, like, the first four songs, and after Bitter Pill, I'm like, fucking... I don't know. (laughs) It just loses me. It just... Nothing grabs me about the rest of that album, for the most part. Um, But this album is definitely much better. I, I don't think it's on the same level as, you know, Years of Decay, or Iron Bound, or The Electric Age, or something. But it's solid, for sure. What would you give it? 7.5 is what I give it. It's average. I give it a C. Yeah. Solid C. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, but only because Mean Green Killing Machine is just fucking amazing. So yeah, listen to that song, Jumping Pit. See you next time.